this could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us. Hello guys, welcome back to a new video on the One Sister channel where we talk about everything Fortnite creative related. Today we are going over the new devices. There's a ton of new devices. I want to try to go all over all of them on the channel. Before we start, I just want to say hit that subscribe button, leave a like. Let's get to a thousand. Currently we're at 700. You guys are the best. Okay, let's go to open your inventory. Go to creative tab. Go to the device tab. And you're going to see the crash pad device right here. You're just going to want to place, place it now. Just place it down. When you place it down, it's just a normal crash pad that you can, like, jump on. Um, you could just go like this on. You could just jump on it. That's basically what it does. So now let's start going through the settings. The first setting in here is health. How much health do you want the crash pad to have? Do you want it to be indestructible or like you can set it for as as much health as you would like? When you set this health, that means people can destroy it. So beware when you're making your maps. Enable during a game phase. This is just whenever the uh, things enabled, like whatever the crash packs enabled. You can enable it during all pre-game, gameplay, or none. You choose at your choice. Visual style, this is what the crash pad looks like. You could either set it as the default, which I have right now, original, or target. I'll show you original first. That's the original, just the basic crash pad. And then we have, oh. And then we have the target right here. There's different styles. I like the target. Let's put it, let's keep it on the target. It looks nice. Okay, the next one is allow any launch to transmit a signal. That means when someone jumps on the crash pad, it will transmit a set channel to anywhere you want or any channel. We're going to turn that on. We're going to enable it. Now we're going to want to go down to enable when receiving from. This is when the crash pad enables and disables. It's basically on every device in creative. It's pretty simple. And the one on the bottom is when launched, transmit on any channel you want. I'm going to do channel 1 just to just to show you guys this. And when launched, transmit on this. It won't work unless you have this enabled or on. Uh, yep, so this, this basically, this thing can be used as a big trigger device. You know what a trigger is? It's just a big one of those. Uh, you can also, with this device, you can, you can make it smaller with the scale. This small, that's the smallest you can do. And then you can make it like really big. Let's see the biggest you can go. You can make it huge like this. So yeah. This device is really cool. I think I'm going to use it in some of my maps. Uh, it's very useful. So just to represent that when you jump on this, it will, it will do channel 1. Channel 1 will be sent. Let's just do a barrier device right here. Let's put the barrier down here. Okay, and then let's put a... And then all you have to do is just enable when channel 1. And set a barrier style so you can see it. Let's do blue force field. That means if you're standing here and you jump on the crash pad, the blue f uh, force field will, will turn on and you could stand on top of this. Let me just place down a, um, a spawner so I can show you guys how this works. One more setting I forgot to mention in here was enable during game phase. You're going to want to put this to none if you're going to do what I'm doing here. And now let's start the game. As we spawn in, we have our crash pad and then our barrier is right there. It will appear when we jump on this. So if we jump on this... A barrier will appear, and you can try to land on it. Uh, yeah, that's basically it for the crash pad device. There's not much I can talk about here, but you can make some cool death run levels out of this. It's going to be a really useful tool. And the barrier does, in fact, work. Yes, sir. Yeah, let's end the game. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions about the video, go down to the comments. I read all my comments, and I'll heart some of you guys back. Um... Ask me some questions down there. I'll reply 100%. Thank you guys for watching. This has been the Crash Pad device. And this has been the One Assister.
Uh, let's get to 1K. Thank you for supporting me, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell whenever I put out a new video. I will see you guys next time. A sister out. Also, if you guys do want to support me in the Fortnite item shop to let me keep making videos, use code PEEPER1235. I'll put the animation on screen right now. We saved my code thanks to you guys. You guys are the best. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. A sister out. <laughs>